So when you do pricing in SaaS, that can actually mean a lot of different things. And I have four questions that you should usually be able to answer whenever you actually want to talk about monetization and pricing in SaaS. The four questions are as follows. Number one, what to build. Number two, packaging, how to package. Number three, model. What kind of pricing model do we want to use? And then finally, the price points. So should this cost 100 or 200 or 249 per user? So whenever people in SaaS talk about we want to do pricing, it actually usually starts with this one. We want to say, well, we are not charging enough and we should charge more. The problem is that often the price point is like a blunt tool. If you can just raise prices like 20% and make 20% more money because you are far away from monetizing your customers properly, that is great. But if you want to do better and create a better monetization of your overall market and price your customers differently, then you need to sort of move up this chain of questions, right? So. What I usually do in most of my projects is that I run packaging, pricing model, and price points. The average uplift I do on the last 25 projects that I have done, I did the math recently, is 102%. Oh, that's the median. The average actually is 242%. So you cannot usually raise prices by 100, 200, 300% by just raising price points. You have to do something more wholesale where you're saying well instead of having a user-based pricing model we're going to go to a an api call base or an output based pricing model or we're going to change the packaging completely because we're not monetizing our enterprise customers enough so we need to create packaging for them we need to monetize services and so forth so usually what happens is that when you start to do pricing you start to focus on this point but then you over focus on it where actually the highest impact is created up the chain of questions. So what I would usually say is that if you want to run a pricing project and sort of do pricing in your SaaS organization, you start here and then you run down. This is usually the project basis. This is where you do sort of a once like a wholesale review and repackaging, repricing of your product and you get to a new level, whatever that is. You actually focus less on price points. This then becomes what you optimize once you have the new model in the market and you can run that. So this is the project. If you then want to actually run a pricing function where you do this continuously on your organization, this is then the function level where the real value is created in the feedback loop with the customers and then you actually start to say, well, if I have two features to build A or B, but I only have the resources to build one of them, which ones would do the best from a commercial standpoint when included in the packaging, when run through the pricing model and then actually monetized through the price points. So from the pricing work, you actually get a feedback loop into the product level and you should be able to, as a pricing function, if you want to do this on an ongoing basis, to then answer that question. Like what should we build? How should we package? What pricing model should we use? And how much should we charge? I would actually always say that for most companies, don't ever worry about price optimization. Just do price positioning. And until you are at at least 20 million ARR, just focus on getting this level right. This will usually follow very automatically if the structure is good. So if the structure is good, the price points will usually automatically follow from that, at least to a good enough extent. So this is just the, let's say, very quick and dirty of how to think about the, I call them the four core pricing questions. I also call them the four core monetization questions um, that you should be able to answer depending on whether you're doing a project on an ongoing sort of function exercise here. So I hope it's helpful to you. Good luck with it.